What's going on, my friends? Um, finished up my training just now. Pretty smoked, so going to be incoherent, seemingly as always at this point. Um, today's primary goal was a front squat double uh, at five plates. Ran into a lot of issues uh, with passing out um, on my way up. I'm going to guess uh, my propensity towards passing out increases with fatigue. So as we get later in this training cycle, uh, weights that I've been hitting very comfortable, long static holds with um, are suddenly kind of turning out the lights. So um, I kind of intermittently switched between taking my warm up weights, uh, taking singles on the way up alternating with heavy holds to try to build up some tolerance on the day uh, to that issue with passing out. And uh, by doing so, we kind of managed to make our way through. A little frustrating because I uh, put in a lot of work this block to make sure that my front squat was maybe a little bit more limited by either leg strength or back strength, but uh, it appears we are still being limited by the lights going out. Um, as I worked my way upward, even like four plates, I, the lights were turning out, which uh, is not a difficult weight nowadays. So that was pretty frustrating, but just kind of took that instead of getting frustrated, instead of getting overwhelmed, uh, took, a sat, took a sec, thought, like sat down and thought about what can I do to make this session a win? Uh, and that's where I came to this conclusion of alternating between uh, the heavy static holds uh, as well as doing my front squatting. Um, again, didn't perfectly fix it. My lights were going out pretty bad on my way into the re-rack at uh, the 495, but we did manage to secure uh, that 20 pound double PR. So pretty happy with uh, managing to turn the session into a win. A little annoyed that uh, this issue still plagues me. Considering just running through the nine-week Travis Mash front squat program, um, it basically just involves top singles with a really long hold at the bottom and then a really long hold at the top, rack, and then percentage-based uh, back-offs. It was just kind of designed for someone whose trunk stability, maybe back strength was limiting their front squat much more than their leg strength, which... Uh, is the category I fall into, hoping that would also uh, work to develop my tolerance to passing out. Um, normally, I would then do split squats here. Uh, I've got this little tweak on the back of my leg. Nothing serious, but I found that when I was warming up on my uh, SSB split squats, that I was kind of feeling that a little bit in like the hamstring area. So I elected to just do a quick 20 rep set of uh, Hatfield squats, just get some blood flow to my legs. Um, Knees were feeling a little achy, always feel a lot better once I kind of fill the quads up with some blood. Um, now that we're later in the training cycle, not pushing these hard at all, kind of the same thing I would be doing with the split squats, just keeping some peripheral volume in there because I find when I drop my volume off a cliff, my body tends to feel really stiff and not any better due to the, uh, the lessened fatigue, just worse from the giant drop off in the level of motion that I'm used to. Uh, so put that in there, just keep the knees feeling nice. Uh, next block might push those a little harder in the higher rep ranges just as a substitute for a belt squat or a leg press. Uh, then moved on to my stiff legs for the day. Um, pretty tired from all the issues with passing out. That seemed to really take it out of me. But despite that, I actually felt uh, very strong on my stiff legs. Uh, so that was that was nice. I worked up to a top set of 465 for five. Uh, nothing too crazy, but considering the level of fatigue I'm under at this point in the training cycle, um, that is a set that I am quite happy with. As always, anytime I deadlift from the floor, I do some kind of abs. I just find that that antagonistic pairing keeps my back feeling nice. So on this first day, I just do a shit ton of GHD sit-ups, five working sets, uh, then bounced back over to the bar and hit, uh, don't remember if it was two or three work sets of strict pendlay rows uh, just to finish off uh, my deadlifting work for the day. Um, yeah, that's that's basically how it went. Um, rows are feeling okay, just kind of easing back into these, keeping it light again because I drop off my accessory intensity pretty significantly towards the end of the training cycle to shift my focus towards those big main lifts uh, that are the real priority for the training cycle in terms of goals.